Last week's food adventure saw Jasmine and I sample the plethora of deep fried delicacies in Zhongshan, but our adventures here are not over yet. Tonight's dinner in Zhongshan is all about this right here, chrysanthemum. The Xiaoland district of Zhongshan has a proud legacy of growing, painting, cooking and eating chrysanthemum. And in November of every year, there's a chrysanthemum festival held here, which features an incredible chrysanthemum banquet for over a thousand people, in which chrysanthemum is the main ingredient of each and every dish. The festivities begin tomorrow and they're currently decorating the restaurants with thousands of these huge chrysanthemum flowers. Honestly, I never knew chrysanthemums could be so big. The only interaction I've really ever had with chrysanthemum over the years is in my tea. And those are pretty small. They're huge and so yellow and so edible. So I've got some chrysanthemums here and we're just going to eat it, you know, just pop it right in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You gotta try it. So with that, I started eating the restaurant decorations, something I can't say I've ever done before. It's crispy. <laughs> Not it crispy tastes like crunch. flour. <laughs> Funny that, but by no means is chrysanthemum the only flower used in Chinese cuisine. You've got xianghua bing, which is made from rose petals, guihua bing, made from osmanthus flower, as well as multitudes and multitudes of flower teas. But today's chrysanthemum feast isn't just limited to pastries and tea. Check out just how extensive this menu is. And we're actually lucky enough to be two of the first people to try out this year's chrysanthemum banquet ahead of its opening ceremony tomorrow. Got any of these catching your eye here? I'm really curious about this juhua xiangjiao cishen. It's literally translated as like juhua banana sashimi. <laughs> here it is here, chrysanthemum and banana sashimi. Wow. Jasmine, look what's arrived. Is that my sashimi? I think this is your banana sashimi. <laughs> Where is the banana though? I've seen some salads in my life, but nothing quite like this. Oh, there it is. So in a wild turn of events, banana sashimi is simply uncooked banana, like every other banana I've eaten. Let's do this. Banana sashimi. Mmm. That's great. It's kind of confusing the taste. <laughs> it's like it's sweet but not that sweet. Really enjoying these uh little chrysanthemum petals outside when you just have it by itself. I don't think it does it justice. But this chrysanthemum banana salad sashimi thing is only just the beginning. Check out our yellow banquet here. We've even got some chrysanthemum wine to accompany our dishes tonight. Okay, so we have just been poured in front of us here some chrysanthemum alcohol. I don't think it's very high quantity of alcohol. Oh, okay. It's still it's strong. <laughs> he said before it's that's strong for me. Yeah, he said before it's not that strong, but that's it's strong for me. Hey, right, let's go straight down the hatch. One big gulp. Ready? Cheers. Gambay, okay. gambay. Ready? It's I can strong. taste. I can taste it in that. It's strong. It is yeah. strong, but at least I can. I can taste the, the flower. Yeah. Next up, it's the main attraction, the banquet centerpiece, Ju Xiang Nuo Mi Zi. It's basically chicken filled with lots of stuff. Glutinous rice, chestnuts, yam, lotus seed, lily, kidney beans, dates, chrysanthemum, just to name a few. Xixie. Whoa, look at that. This is the Oh, oh. a <laughs> Oh. Mm. I really like the texture with the sticky rice. Have you tasted the juha? No, but generally a very tasty dish. Now it is time for the fish balls. They're made by combining fish meats with chrysanthemum petals, shaping the paste into balls, and then frying them in oil. <laughs> and it's got a special way of being eaten. Oh, putting it right in there. Oh. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Okay, this kind of is giving me sang choy bao vibes. We've got our crispy fish ball in there. We've dipped it in this sauce, which is something more on the sour-ish, sweet sour side. Mm. Oh, the texture of that ball. Check that out. Oh yeah. And you can see the chrysanthemum inside. 
The texture is amazing. It's so, wait, I'm gonna eat this for you in slow motion. Enough said. So two days ago, I was having Cha Shan beef hot pot and we have these uh, beef balls that actually bounce because they have that consistency. Did you do the test? I did do the test okay, and it bounced like two it. or three times. So I don't know, do you reckon we can bounce these balls? Yeah, let's do it. Now all I want to do when I see a ball is it's bounce it. It's for science. You know, it's for test. science. Oh, that's very bouncy. Yeah. And it's still in the plate, so congrats. Which one is the winner? Chao Shan Yo Rou won, or the fish Sorry, one? Sorry, the Yo Rou won had unbeatable bounciness. Chao Shan beef ball was like an aero, you know, the chocolate that has lots of holes inside, mm -hmm. but this is like a Mars bar. Okay, get it. Yeah. Yeah, so still very good performance for it. Very good performance. Such a heavy fish ball. Next up, we've got some fried prawns with a topping of deep fried chrysanthemum leaves and mini chrysanthemums. So I'm gonna grab this dish over here because these little mini juhua is kind of what I was expecting when we were gonna have juhua today. But outside those chrysanthemum are so big. I'm holding this. Yeah, I just wanted to do a little size comparison here. <laughs> so this is the, the chrysanthemum that I'm used to seeing. This is that kind like of size. How, how does makeup blogger like- make Like this, makeup? yes, I've learned. Yeah. That's how they do it, yep. Pretty professional. And now this. <laughs> does that have a smell? <laughs> we have some deep fried juha leaves and we also have some deep fried mini juha as well. So yeah, let's see. This is the first time the mini juha have appeared in our dish tonight. Let's go for it. I'm gonna, here we go. I'll serve you a prawn. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna try a leaf. Leaf. It tastes kind of like... It tastes like tea. Yeah, tea leaves. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. So sweet and juicy, that prawn. Mm. That's delicious. And you can swallow the shell as well. Mm. It's not that you know, hard to swallow. I love, um, I love deep fried prawns mm. because you don't, have to un <laughs> you don't have to undress them. You can just get them straight in. One of my pet peeves in this life is peeling prawns. And when I was little, I would get my dad to peel them all for me. <laughs> That's one of my skills. Really? You know, um, how to say, undress things. You know, undress bones and shells, you know, whatever it is. I'm just good at undressing things, but not myself. <laughs> Moving on, time for a very, very unique deep fried delight here. It's made by placing a piece of pig liver atop a chrysanthemum leaf, dousing it in a sweet batter, and then deep frying it until it's wonderfully crispy and crunchy. This is gonna be super crispy, so I'm gonna get up nice and close here, ready? Mmm. Mmm, really see good. see the layer. Mm. It's like a, it's a textural sensation because you've got that intense crunchiness of the batter. You've got the, the liver, which is, if you've ever had liver, it's a bit more dense. And then you've got that leaf in there as well that gives it a little bit of a... <laughs> as you might know, I'm not a fan of liver, you know. Sorry, but you I'll try. You can't really taste it. I can't. Yeah really taste the liver that much. No, it's more of a texture more than anything. Yeah. Such a random mix, I can't get over it. Oh. <laughs> Coming around the corner here is our final dish for today, chrysanthemum and goji berry jellies. I'm really excited for this dessert here because all the foods that we've had have been pretty salty mm -hmm. and I'm ready for something sweet. Look at that jiggle. And you said, it smells like, oh yeah, it does smell like the juhua cha. Yeah. Oh, yum. Oh, it looks so pretty. It's like almost too good to eat. Oh, look. Oh, it's very slippery. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> well, let's put it back. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got some juha in my crotch. It's but so fragile. Safer this way. They just fall apart. Yeah. It's nice. It's like not super sweet, but still sweet enough that I feel the dessert vibe. Pretty much like the solid version of the juha cha I yeah. had. This has been absolutely amazing. I. Honestly, didn't know that Dongshan had so many delicious specialties. And definitely this Zhuhai is um, the 
first time I've ever seen it in my life. Yeah. And such giant juhua type. Exactly. Know? This is so cool experiencing mm -hmm. this chrysanthemum mm -hmm. festival, this chrysanthemum banquet was just amazing. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me and for flying across the country to join me here. No, I begged you. I begged Amy to take me out of town. And I'm taking her with me to our next stop, my dream food destination here in Guangdong. It's Shunda. Are you ready? I'm, so, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I've been waiting for this moment. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Bye.